Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut and welcome to a mobile tutorial episode. Um, this is on a piece of photo manipulation software called Snapseed by Google. It's very clever, it's very cool. It works kind of like an overpowered Instagram filters app. Uh, it's not sponsored or anything, I just think it's pretty cool. So when you first open up Snapseed you'll be granted uh, access to this little open window. Tap anywhere to open a photo. I'm just going to choose this one that I've downloaded here. OK, now you'll first see that this looks pretty much exactly like Instagram. You can apply a bunch of incredible <laughs> uh, preset filters to your images. But where this tool really comes alive is when you start using these custom tools here in order to um, adjust your image like you would inside of, say, Lightroom or Photoshop. For example, you can adjust your curves on the image. This one seems a little faded to me, so maybe I want to bring back in some of those contrasts a little bit. Maybe lift up the bottom a touch, maybe brighten up those areas like so. OK, now this isn't the only thing you can do. You can obviously tune the image to your um, liking with in terms of saturation. You can adjust the highlights and things like that. Bring out the highlights and some of her skin there. Warm up the image just a little bit. Um, of course, you can increase and decrease the contrast. Anything that you can do inside of Photoshop, you can do with this little um, levels adjustment tool here. Um, and there is all sorts that you can do. You can adjust the white balance incredibly. Um, incredibly, that's not the word. Uh, intensively, I suppose, is the correct word. Crop, rotate, perspective, all those sort of standard things. Um, some of the really cool things you can do is there's a healing brush inside of here. Now, I doubt I'm going to find a single blemish on this lady's skin. Um, but for example, I could probably remove um, one of these moles here from her skin. It's just, oops, excuse me, as simple as that. Uh, another one here, just touch that up and voila, it's gone. Um, really powerful actually works really really well I expected it to work sort of a little bit okay but it doesn't it works very well um, another really powerful tool is the head pose tool this will automatically search for and identify a face in your image and then you can slightly reposition that face so if you think this lady's looking a little bit too further up you want to tilt her chin down slightly you can do that which is insane uh, I think that's incredible. Some other cool stuff, um, things like tacky things, double exposure, that sort of thing. Um, but apart from that, that's really all there is to it. You can just go through and explore what you've got here. There's a whole bunch of filters, like you can make things vintage and stuff like that if you wanted to. The things that I enjoy doing um, are applying lens blur to your image. So you can add a little bit of um, uh, bokeh to the edges of your frame if you'd like. You can choose a point of focus just by moving this around so you can have it wherever you'd like. Obviously, you can have it on the face. You can then adjust like so to get that little bit of bokeh in there. And then you can hit um, accept. You can obviously add in a vignette and things as well. You can increase or decrease the um, lightness of the edge of the image. So I might want to just darken that up just a touch like so. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, we can add some tonal contrast, things like that. So you can adjust the high tones. You can really add some creases to her skin or you can drag them all out as well. Like so. Once you've done it, you can either export and just share directly um, to your favorite apps or you can save to create a copy of your photo, which is what I'm going to do here. So here you can see the difference between those two images. Now, obviously, you use this on a case by case basis, but some of the tools inside of Snapseed are very powerful. So hopefully you find it a little bit useful. A uh, nice quick tutorial for you this week. Not really a tutorial, more of just a play-by-play -play exploration of the app. But hopefully you'll find that useful. If you did, great. If you want more of this sort of stuff, let me know. Uh, and hopefully I'll find some things that are pretty interesting. Uh, if not, oh well, no worries. And I'll see you all next time on TipTap. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.